I like hockey. I love playoff hockey. I also love these two dudes together, Roto Wires, Paul Bruno, and AJ Scholes. So, guys, Calgary and Vancouver still finishing up their, like, seasons. That's at 4 o'clock today. But we got a three-game main slate tonight for the playoff game, so that's what we're going to dial in and focus on here. Let's start on the wing. Nikita Kucherov returning for the Lightning in game one of their series against the Panthers and promptly put up two goals and an apple. You paying up for him tonight at 7-8, or is there a cheaper option on the wing you prefer, AJ? Well, I think, you know, compared to the rest of the field, he is significantly outpacing the way in terms of pricing. Pacioretty, who may or may not play, comes in at 7,300. Gensel is a full 1,000 less at 68. But I think you have to roll with Kucherov tonight. It's not just the points for me. It's the shots on goal at five. It's the over four minutes of ice time with the power play. He's going to get a ton of opportunities here. And looking at the other top wingers, I honestly think he has the best matchup tonight against Florida. So for me, absolutely paying up for Nikita Kucherov tonight. Yeah, game one was absolute fireworks between these two teams. Paul, what do you want to do here? You know what? I'm shocked that my co-host didn't mention Penguin players, so I'm going to go that route. <laughs> I, I don't feel the need to cover a lot of the favorites here, but I will make an exception for Jared McCann, who I've always called the Penn Swiss Army Knife. He's played up and down the lineup all year long, has seven points and 18 shots on goal in his last 10 starts. He could see a bump in ice time tonight, including power play minutes if Malkin can't go, and my partner will be crying his eyes out if that happens. <laughs> but uh, In the Florida State uh, matchup, I'm expecting the Panthers to rebound from game one loss, so I'm taking Carter for Hagee to score for a third straight game versus the Bolts tonight. He priced in at 5600 bucks. And if you want to go big, I say go with Mark Stone. He's going to show why he's one of the best leaders in hockey. This team needs him to come up large to get that uh, split in the home games uh, before they travel to Minnesota. He's had eight points in his last 10 starts and is primed for a big night in game two of this series, costing you 6600 bucks tonight. All right, uh, Paul, let's take a look at the center position. Islanders, J.G. Peugeot. Also had a three-point night in his game one matchup against Pittsburgh. So here we go. We're talking about Penguin guys now. Uh, one goal and two assists to go along with five shots on goal. He's cheap. Three six. Would you rather pay up at center though? I might. And uh, there's other cheap options uh, in that price range. I would say, but I'm not expecting a repeat performance. I like the shots on goal rate for a guy like a Willie Carlson for five thousand dollars. He's had twelve shots uh, in the last three games. Twenty-two in his last. 10 with seven points along the way. He's the club's top scoring center this season. They need him to come up large tonight. I also like the Pens' Jeff Carter for 4,900 bucks. He move up, may move up to the number two center slot if Malkin can't play tonight. He has eight goals in his last 10 starts, averaging almost three shots on goal in that stretch uh, when he was in the th third line role much of the time. And uh, finally, I like Alex Wenberg. If you want to go cheap, I say go with him, only 3,200 bucks. He's likely the guy to assume more playing time with Sam Bennett ser serving his one-game suspension this evening, hoping to continue his recent hot streak, which has him uh, six goals and two assists in his last 10 games. All right, AJ, you're up. Well, I, I think that price tag is so incredibly cheap. It, it is hard to pass up. You know, you watch that game one of the series, and, and they really did, uh, you know, take it to the Penguins in the, in the third period. So I'm definitely considering Pajot here in that one. Uh, I, I think the fact of the matter is, you know, Paul made some great recommendations that I totally agree with in, in Jeff Carter and Alex Wenberg because of their situational bump. I also think you look at, you know, if you want to go uh, Islanders to kind of fade Pittsburgh tonight, uh, Matthew Barzell at 5,800 would be your pricey option. I think he's the best uh, guy for them and, and could really lead the way if you want to fade Pittsburgh. All right, guys, uh, AJ, let's take a look at the DK Sportsbook. Uh, what's your favorite over or under for tonight's playoff games? Well, you have to give up a little bit of juice here at minus 106, but I think the Lightning versus Panthers at over six is a great spot to grab some value. Obviously, I preferred it a little bit earlier when it was at five and a half, uh, but even with that bump, I think both teams have some offensive firepower. The Panthers are switching goalies to Chris Dreger tonight. So it's hard to know exactly what you're going to get there, uh, though he did post a .927 save percentage in 23 outings this year, including three shutouts. So he's certainly a capable netminder. Uh, but with the change away from Bobrovsky, you know, I, it's possible the Lightning could come out and, and put all six up on their own. Um, so definitely taking the over in that one. Paul, where are you going? I am expecting another shootout in the Florida matchup uh, where the teams combined nine goals in game one. We saw seven from the pit 
New York Islanders matchup and only one from many in Vegas. The teams from the Sunshine State are running and gunning for each other, and I expect a repeat performance this evening. Defense is going to dominate the other two games. I would rather take the under in both those contests. Paul, which team at plus money would you bet tonight? Look, the only home dog among the three games is the Panthers at plus 112 on the money line, and I'm one of many who expected the series to go at least six games, guys. This is a must-win for FLA, and I say they do it. The Islanders are my number two pick as they're hoping to get that split uh, with uh, the Pens and and uh, very happy, maybe satisfied even right now. While I think the Wild could be in for a long night against Vegas after stealing their opener. All right, AJ, what about you? Bad takes what we've come to know, Paul Foyer. <laughs> oh. uh, no, I mean, Minnesota at plus 143 is just such tremendous value, especially when you consider <laughs> they came out on top in game one. You know, we saw last season that Vegas, their offense completely dried up during the postseason, and it's happening again here. You got to feel for Marc Andre Fleury, who gives up one goal on 30 shots, still gets saddled with the loss. They could switch to Robin Leonard tonight. They've been doing this one uh, every other game thing for a couple months now. And if Patch Reddy remains out, then I think you absolutely should be looking at Minnesota. But even if Patch Reddy plays, even if Flurry gets a start, that value at plus 143 is just too good to pass up on. Uh, AJ, let's wrap this thing up with your slate approved pick. So give me your favorite bet or DFS NHL play tonight. You guys know I love the player props, and it worked out well last night. So I'm sticking with that spot. I'll take Nikita Kucherov at plus 133 to score a goal tonight, and I'll double down on that again at plus 175 to have two or more points. Uh, it didn't look like there was any rust on this guy at all in game one. I mentioned those power play opportunities, and you just can't overlook that. So Nikita Kucherov uh, to get me some solid value tonight. Okay, Paul, bring us home. You know what? I'm disappointed that AJ took a shot at me. I put his kids through school with some of the picks that I've made for him all season <laughs> long. Here. I'll close it out by saying last week I gave you guys Josh Norris in this spot, and he came through with a game-winning goal in overtime tonight. I say Alex Clorn will be a key factor for the Lightning. He's a bargain on today's DFS board, priced at only 4000 bucks, but plays on the ice in one of uh, the Bolt scoring lines and may get additional power play time, too, this evening. I said that there'll be plenty of scoring in this series, and he's going to be part of it tonight.